Shalom. Queen Warrior here from the Ministry of St. John with a short message regarding tarot cards readers. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, all the praise and honor. With the key of David and the sound of my voice, I cover this message and all readers with the precious blood of your son, Yeshaya HaMashiach. May your will be done. This past weekend, the mall in our town had a two-day vendor's call. Mickey's Haunted Market, it was called. Vendors would display and sell a few of their business products and give out candy to the children with Halloween costumes. Now, as a born-again Christian, as a watchman on the wall, it is my responsibility at his as it is written in Ezekiel 33, to blow the trumpet, to warn the people, to intercede in prayer against this evil, and whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and takes not warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Now, as I was walking around and looking at the boots and praying for what I was looking at, I came upon a lady who promoted herself as a tarot card reader. She was reading to this young lady who had paid $40 for this consultation. I watched as the process was taking place, eagerly praying for these two lost souls. Before the so-called consultant was over, the young lady introduced her child and the so-called consultant began to speak to her. As the young lady walked away, I caught up to her and said, may I speak with you? She stopped to listen. I said, I come in the name of Yeshaya HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I am commissioned to sound the alarm and warn you that what you just, that what just took place is forbidden. The Bible teaches clearly against the use of any divination. You just opened a door and probably allowed evil spirits to come upon you. With the key of David and the sound of my voice, I prophesied and complete, annihilate and destruct any curses that have been put upon you and your family. Any spiritual demons that have attached to you, I bind and send back to the portal and close all doors opened in the name of Yeshaya HaMashiach and blood. I loose the frequency of peace and love to surround you and your loved ones and declare and decree that your free will may be straightened to align you with our divine father. I returned to the lady who was defiling others with spirits of divination and said, hi, my mother used to read tarot cards. This is true. And she looked at me with this big smile and said, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I said, yes, unfortunately she's dead. I pray she repented of doing this evil act before she took her last breath. I love my mother. I'm saying this because it is true. She should not have been doing this. I said, because on judgment day, the Bible declares, suffer a witch to die. She yelled, I am not a witch. Excuse me, but that is the clear definition of a witch, deeds of evil and darkness. I rebuke all you are doing here and in the name of Yeshaya HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, I cover all who come to you in the name and blood of Jesus. What she said next blew my mind. Oh, I do this in the day, but at night I pray to Jesus. Unquote. I could not believe that in the same sentence she displayed that evilness. She became furious and walked towards me and touched me and said, please, I said to her, please do not touch me. She pushed me the second time and said, and I said to her, please do not touch me. I rebuke you demon in the name of Yeshaya HaMashiach. She just looked at me 
and she walked away from her post to another neighboring post to tell them what I was doing. And I just walked away. Family, in Ezekiel 33, it reads, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man in their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blows the trumpet and warns the people, then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and takes not warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that takes warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman sees the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take another person from among them, he, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. In Leviticus uh, chapter 13, 19, verse 31, do not turn to mediums who pretend to consult the dead or to spiritists who have spirits of divination. Do not seek them out to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 11, take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness instead expose them it is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them brethren do not go to any anybody that says come i could read your cards i could tell you your future they have demonic spirits in them. And you came to them for advice. What does the Bible say? Do not be defiled by men's speeches. The Bible teaches clearly against the use of any divination. In, in 1 Chronicles chapter 10, verse 13 and 14, the Amplified Bible, the King Saul died in his trespasses when he committed against the Lord for his failure to keep the word of the Lord and also because he consulted a medium regarding a spirit of the dead to inquire of her and did not inquire of the Lord instead. Therefore, the Lord killed him and turned the kingdom over to David, the son of Jesse. So repent, come to the Lord God. He's waiting for you. Do not consult men. Go to the Father. He is listening. Repent. Deny yourself. Pick up the cross and follow Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give all the glory and honor and praise to the Most High Father, Ahaya, His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, and Aruah HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Amen.